Friends, we need to have a serious talk, okay? Get this. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I manifested over a thousand dollars in 21 days. Yeah, you heard that right. With this workbook, I was able to manifest over a thousand dollars in 21 days. How crazy is that? Hey you guys, welcome back to Whole by Cali. Today I am sharing with you all about how I manifested over a thousand dollars in 21 days. I'm so excited for you to hear my story, so let's go and let's get into it. Okay, you're probably wondering a few things. How much money did I actually manifest? How did I actually manifest it in all the nitty gritty details? And I'm going to get into that right now. But first, Fox needs to say hello. He is sitting right here next to me. Say hello. <laughs> Okay, so first things first. This is the workbook I use. It is by Katherine Zinkina, also known as the Manifestation Babe, and it is called Unleash Your Inner Money Babe. Uplevel your money mindset and manifest $1,000 in 21 days. I got this off of Amazon, and it was like $14, I think, so nothing too crazy. I'll have the link to it down below, and it is exactly what it says. It is a 21-day workbook, so every single day you sit down and do a page or two in this workbook, and it takes anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes, just depending on what the assignment is for the day. And you do this task, and you do it for 21 consecutive days. So this is what I did for me and my schedule. I had breakfast, I got ready for the morning, and then I sat down to do this before I did work. And like I said, it took 15 to 20 minutes, just depending on what the tasks were. And I can give you a little bit of an overview of what some of the tasks look like. So the first task from the workbook is you're supposed to clean out your wallet and get rid of any old receipts, get rid of any old gift cards, clean out the cash and make sure all the bills are going the right way, the direction in the same direction, etc. And just make sure, you know, you have a nice clean wallet. Some other things that you're supposed to do as a task for one of the days is text or call or say to someone in person how much you appreciate them and how abundant they make your life. Another one is you're supposed to do a money manifestation meditation. Another one is you actually have to sit down and look at your finances. What do you have for credit card debt. What is your car debt? What is your heart, house or apartment monthly payment? How much do you actually have in your bank account? How much do you have in your savings? Get really granular with all of those and look into those details. So every single day I manifested, or not manifested, I did a, a task from the workbook. And you're probably wondering, when did my manifestations come to me? Two of my manifestations came to me, I believe day 19 and 18, and then the rest of my manifestations for money came to me actually on day 23. So I was done with the workbook and I was waiting for the last bit of my manifestation to come to fruition and it sure did. So you're wondering, how did I manifest this? What did I actually manifest? And I'll tell you, I manifested over a thousand dollars and I manifested this by extra income from helping out with a project on the side. My job gave everyone extra income for Christmas as a spot bonus, you could say. And then I also just generated extra income on top of that. So I manifested over $2,000 to be specific. I don't feel comfortable sharing all of the nitty gritty details with you because that is for me and my truth. But just know that I did manifest over $2,000 actually in 21 days. And you guys, at the beginning, I was totally skeptical, right? Like I'm a strong believer in manifestation and I know that it is totally powerful and capable and anyone can manifest anything and everything we set our mind to. But I never had manifested cold hard cash before. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. How, I kept getting stuck on the how. How was this money going to come to me and when? That's what I was getting really hung up on. Once I decided to just fully release that and let it go it came to me so much more easily and quickly and in ways that I hadn't expected so yes that was the main thing I had to get over because in the workbook it does a nice job of telling you that you can manifest money from expected meaning like your typical job or you have a birthday coming up and you know you get presents for that or something and unexpected ways meaning the universe is delivering to you your manifestation through a source you weren't expecting whether that's you get a tax refund or you get a rebate in the mail or you know you get the idea right it's just something unexpected it wouldn't have crossed your mind and it came to you through that way 
So some of the things that I really had to work through to manifest over $2,000 was really letting go of the when and how my manifestations were going to come to me because that was the thing I really got hung up on the most at the beginning was the how. How was I going to manifest the thousand dollars for this challenge because at the beginning of this challenge I really wasn't expecting any pay raises I wasn't expecting actual extra income I wasn't working on any side projects I was really getting hung up on the how and I was also getting hung up on the when because as we were getting closer as I was getting closer to the end date I was getting on like day 17 18 and I wasn't manifesting any of that money yet I was getting worried I was like when is this money going to come to me and day 21 did come and I had manifested $750 and I was like okay I only have $250 left to manifest that's not that much I can do that no problem and then day 23 rolls around so I had finished the program but I was still you know carrying that energy and emotion with me and I manifested over the thousand dollars and I meant actually in total manifested way over two thousand dollars and it was just so exciting and I remember calling my mom and telling her and all this my sister and all the fun stuff and they're like wow oh my god good job good job and then they're like I can't believe you actually did it that's so cool and it's it is so just know that your money can come from expected and unexpected places and you really just need to let that go because as soon as I was able to fully release that that worry and let it go I think I finally was able to get into the program more and fully accept and understand all the tasks that we were supposed to do each day and really just embrace it for what it was fully worth. And Catherine Zinkina really is a great teacher. I love her YouTube videos, her Instagram. She has a wonderful course that I haven't taken, but I'm manifesting to take one day. And I think she's just a really great resource for all of us. And she has some wonderful insight and knowledge on manifestation and specifically manifesting around money. So if this is something that you are looking to either let go of limiting beliefs, manifest more money, or even just heighten your money relationship that I think that this workbook would be a perfect thing for you to do because one it's really fun two it's easy to do as well it doesn't take long and three I think everyone can always strive to have a stronger relationship with money because this is kind of what my year has been it's been really working on my money mindset and getting comfortable with it because two years ago I hardly ever even looked at my bank statement I always just knew I had enough and I didn't really want to I don't know I just thought it was so annoying I didn't like talking about money I didn't like thinking about it it was just it was an inconvenience to me and I didn't have a strong relationship with it but now I do now I have a very strong relationship with my money and I always know what I have where it is and how it's being used and I think as soon as you start to respect money for what it is it starts to respect you back and you create create a special bond as weird as that sounds and it amplifies more because energy or excuse me money is energy it's currency it's energy and it needs to be respected as so it is not meant to be thought of as dirty or shameful or if you have too much of it you need to be resentful of it money is a tool that we are all capable of using to help us create the life of our dreams because you know some people who have money spending problems and they don't have a positive relationship with money money is not going to respect them back with back which could lead to debt or other consequences as such but people who use and appreciate money for what it's worth will create a more fulfilling and abundant life with that money because money respects them as well. Does that, you get what I'm saying? It's kind of weird, but once you understand that money is energy and currency is energy, you completely get it. And this workbook does a nice job of talking all about that as well too because I had never thought of it that way, but this past year really has been my money year. It's been me really getting comfortable with where I'm at, being comfortable with manifesting money, and so much more. So I hope that you can do the same as well if you aren't already. But you know, you can always. there's always room for improvement too. The other biggest thing that I really had to work through was she had us think about what our biggest limiting belief was surrounding money, whether that was you're not worthy of it, you can never have enough, etc. And that's exactly what mine was. Mine was I'm never going to have more than enough. I'm always just going to have enough and I'm constantly in need of more, which wasn't true, isn't true, and will never be true. 
And I, when I had that realization, I was like, I felt like a weight off my shoulders and I was just like, that is so true. That is what's been holding me back. That is what is stuck in my mind and really just limiting me. And I had never thought about it. And then of course, you know, once you come to that realization, you have to dig deep and think about the why. Why did you think why did this come to your subconscious mind? How did it get there? How can you get rid of it? And what can you replace it with? So, of course, she suggests all these mantras and meditations to do. And now I like to say to myself, money comes to me easily and abundantly. I'm worthy and accepting of money. I'm allowed to have more than just enough. And I think it's really powerful because our words have energy and action behind them and the things that we tell ourselves actually come true because it's another form of manifestation. Friends, I hope that you were able to take something away from this video. I hope that you go and buy this book so you too can manifest over a thousand dollars in 21 days and hopefully even more just like me. And I hope that you are inspired to create a stronger relationship with your money too because like I said, we're all worthy and capable of having a strong relationship with our money because money is energy and how we treat it, it treats us back and we can all just always have stronger and more powerful relationships with our money because it is a driving vehicle right like it helps us get from point a to point b and as much as we don't want to give money that power it does help us facilitate our dreams so i think it is important to have a strong relationship with it all right you guys i love you so much and i hope you have a great day if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if this video resonated with you in any way make sure to share it with a friend or family member or even on your social media too and if you have any video ideas for next week let me know in the comments below i would love to hear from you and i hope you have a great day love you guys bye Hi guys!